If you're a parent, you know just how tough it is to find safe and affordable, high quality child care in Houston. Yeah, we've heard of food deserts. Well, this morning, Zach Lajway is explaining child care deserts and how big of a problem they are in our state and what our city is doing to try to make sure this doesn't have long term impacts on our children. A major problem made very clear by this map. Child care desert. <laughs> While the white and gray areas indicate no deserts, the different shades of red show zip codes where the number of children, six and younger, exceeds the number of childcare seats in that area, thus a desert. The darker the red, the bigger the problem, with little to no access to safe, affordable, high quality child care. A quarter of a million children in the greater Houston area that are sort of close to lacking. Bob Sanborn is president and CEO of Children at Risk. And we have a city uh, where the majority of our families are low income uh, and they want to work, uh, yet one of the biggest challenges for them is finding high quality child care. One of the things that we know, Zach, is that high quality child care has a significant impact on access academic success throughout that child's academic career. So the, the lady down the street, maybe you know, it's a clean house, it might be safe, but we just don't know if a lot of learning is happening. And I think what parents really want is the, is the clean, safe place down the street where we know it's high quality and we know it's getting them ready for uh, high quality academic. Amarillo. Ensuring these places exist, Harris County, United Way of Greater Houston, and Baker Ripley teamed up to create a pilot program called Early Reach. It created nearly 1,000 new spaces for high quality early childhood education for kids up to four years old across the county at no cost to the family. This is a two year pilot program. We're coming up to one year in May. So the program is going to receive funding for another year and children are going to start growing out of the program. Elizabeth Hale is communications manager at Baker Ripley. She says by the time a child ages out of the program, they are prepared to enter pre-K or kindergarten. Parents are able to continue with school or work and do not have to sacrifice stability. My First Steps Learning Academy is one of 26 early reach centers in the county. Shannon Harris is a teacher at the center. What does this child care mean to these children and their families? They love that their children are actually learning and they can see the progression. And the standards are higher at Early Reach because again, it's not about just sending your kid here and knowing that you're gonna pick them up at the end of the day. It's about education. I say three, you say five. And somewhere in early education is a lesson we all could learn from regardless of our age. Just start with your birthday. All right, now Zach Lajway is joining us in studio to talk more about this story. Really interesting, Zach. Yeah, it was really fascinating. I, uh, I'm not a parent, so when I was reading up on this, I was kind of blown away about this problem, knowing very well how difficult it is to secure child care yeah. and high quality child care right. at, an, at an affordable rate. Uh, so what was really fascinating about this, throughout the greater Houston area, more than 45 zip codes qualify uh -huh. as a child care desert. Then what, yeah, wow. and throughout the state of Texas, we have uh, more than 2,000 counties, nearly 2,000 counties, or excuse me, nearly 2,000 zip codes. And uh -huh. of those 2,000 zip codes, 352 of those zip codes right. qualify as child care deserts. So this is a major problem yes, yeah. for, for so right. many people. And, you know, I was when I was talking with children at risk, they were talking about how the, the state of Texas is doing a better job, but it really does take money at the federal level, the mm -hmm. state level, and then the local level the county right, level and also I know, to prioritize yeah children at risk and years past has talked about you know trying to bring in some private yes. funding too because it's a big problem yeah. i mean it, companies need employers families need parents to work mm -hmm. but then how do you make that happen when you've got a little one you're right, right. like you right. want them in a safe place and hopefully getting them ready for school and the whole purpose of this program here the pilot program in harris county was to ensure that parents weren't having to choose whether i go to work and provide yeah. for my family mm -hmm. or if i can put my children yeah. in a safe environment that's going to set them up for success in the too long often run. you're basically paying to go to work yeah. if that's yeah. the choice that you have to yeah. make so
So, so w w this is great that they're having more availability for kids like that. But what about the cost? Are there are there any groups doing things to lower the cost of childcare? Yeah. So this 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 pilot program right here is free. Wow. This is totally. not going to yeah totally free. This is not going to cost the parents any money. Mm -hmm. uh, the YMCA also is one of many or one of some organizations within the private sector that are also putting forth these types of programs. Um, so for a program like that, you would have to be screened to like show correct. that you are you eligible. Don't make and it what's really for tough for is that the demand obviously is there, but there are only a certain amount of seats for these children. Right, so yeah. not everybody who yeah. needs this care is is going to get it. Is going to have and, a spot. And so right. And so you're right. More programs need to come online. That's what Children at Risk is is saying that the state is doing uh, uh, the the, the county is doing a decent job. The state they feel could do a little better of a job. I mean, at, at yeah, you have to get all the parties on board yeah. to get that funding, yeah. right? And yeah. Baker Ripley, that's a pilot program. Yeah, with United with Way. Uh, United Way uh -huh. uh, that has also launched this, yeah. So hopefully so when, if that's going well, they can expand that. Yeah. And when they say they're doing a better job, that means that they're funding more? Is that what you're saying? Uh, what I was told was there's a lot of money going into child care at the federal level, the state level, and the local level. It's getting all of these groups on board uh, to, 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 make, to ensure seriously. that this comes to fruition, yeah. that these, these centers are... are, are, are yeah. And they're ending Modern up in these child care very... deserts, yes, right? Yeah, and not just yeah. in other parts that yeah. are already providing care, yeah. but maybe not as critical yeah. a need. Good point. You know, growing up, I, I thought of my uh, upbringing, and I grew up in upstate New York, very rural. And my mother, when I was like six or eight weeks old, however it was, when that she had to go back to work back then in the, the late 80s, she, you know, phoned a neighbor to see who around town could could yeah. could offer and child care and so right. it was this it was this little elderly lady who I grew up calling Granny. Yeah. Uh, she became my my child care provider. But that's what this is not talking about that right. because this would not fit in that safe, affordable, high quality child care right. environment. Yeah. But Th yeah. things were different. Things were different. And so this is this is intentionally putting a spotlight on atmospheres that are that that are putting. Mm -hmm. education first. I mean, things were different, but in so many ways they're not. Because right. I think like all these stories we do about crime yeah. and people leaving kids at home yeah. alone don't aren't partly because of course there's no place Absolutely. for kids to right. go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so much, yeah. Zach. And remember that you can read more about child care deserts when you go to click to houston.com. Yeah, this is a live look right now at one of the stories on our website that our digital producer, Ninfa Savedra, wrote about this. So when you read this article, you'll find even more details on this critical issue about child care deserts. It's called What's Causing the Child Care Desert Crisis in Houston. Here's what we know.